Every now and then, the Supreme Court makes some decision that's considered really huge, and indeed it is. Um, they can be very significant and they can really change uh, how things operate in this country, how we see things, how things are done. Um, but my point here is uh, not to talk about the Supreme Court, um, but kind of the uh, uh, perhaps the aftershocks or, or what happens afterwards. Of late, I've heard things on our Catholic radio station uh, talking, well, how are we going to handle this? And what are we going to do about that? And how are we uh, going to make sure this works out for people? And this, uh, and we can kind of chart the path here for, uh, for people, for things that, that will hopefully go well. And one of the things I've noticed is that uh, people start at, uh, suggesting things that the government do, do for us. Oh, we'll uh, ask the government to mandate this and, uh, and pass laws for that and uh, you know, regulate this and control that and do all these sorts of things. And I think to myself, oh, wait a minute, folks, hold on there a little bit. Uh, what you're basically asking for is socialism. And socialism is not good for anybody. It is not good for human happiness and prosperity. Before you start suggesting the government do anything for us, think it through real carefully and do you really want to hand this over to the government uh, to control? Because nine times out of ten, the government doesn't do a good job at it because it's not what belongs to the government. It belongs to us, the people, to our businesses, to our neighborhoods, to us as families and individuals. We have to take on some of these burdens. Don't expect the government to do it for us unless you really want them to be the ones that control the reins and how things operate. I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm just suggesting here, uh, think very carefully and at all costs, avoid socialism and turning everything over to the government to do it for us. Always, always a bad idea.